Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about three ways to find your perfect pair of jeans. I feel like it's a staple that all of us have in our closet and you know what? We all deserve to have a good solid pair that we can always rely on. Perfect fitting denim is like the new little black dress. The first golden rule of buying jeans is don't be scared to invest in a good pair just because they last forever. Also opt for something that's not necessarily trendy. I know right now a lot of jeans with like stripes on the side and some glitter and diamonds and pearls. Last year I got these jeans with pearls on them. Guess what? Worn it once. Definitely invest in the more classic washes and looks of jeans. Those will be the ones that you'll be able to wear for years Years and also that you'll be able to dress up or down and not be limited just because of whatever tchotchka is on it. If you don't know the fit that works best for you, always make sure to try it in store. Although I know what works for my figure, I still prefer to try jeans on before I purchase it. So I actually don't purchase a lot online because I also like to move around the dressing room when I try new jeans just to see how limiting they are, if they're gonna stretch, touch the fabric. Also to make sure there's no like camel toe situation or any bulkiness those things gotta think about those so there are quite a bit of options out there for denim and the washes something to think about when you reach out for a certain wash dark wash is I would say the most popular wash out there because it's the most versatile they hold up really well they're really flattering for any body type just because they have a more slimming and elongating effect to them they can easily be transformed from a day look to a night look and from winter to summer they pretty much cover it all. The next one is black jeans. Every girl should own a good black pair in their closet. The black wash is a great everyday basic. You can wear it all year round, also slimming and very flattering on lots of different body types. And then the last but not least is the lighter washes and that has quite a bit of a range, but the lighter washes you usually wear way more in the warmer months. Although I felt like winter 2018 was really happening for light denims. So I don't think that rule matters anymore, but they're a little more restricting. I must say lighter wash I specifically love on a more boyfriend oversized jeans. It looks better than I feel like darker washes. So just something to keep in mind. The fit of your jeans is everything. So first I want to cover the fits that you'll see when it comes to jeans. So number one is skinny. Skinny jeans is amazing for quite a bit of body ties, which is really awesome. They've been going straight strong and fashion for a very long time. They're doing a great job creating a more elongated body and have a great slimming effect, especially if they're black high-waisted skinny jeans. Then we have the flared leg and that one is for the more fun girls that are not afraid to try different things. I say it because I feel like I should wear flared way more. It's actually coming back stronger than ever, which is awesome, but it's also a great, great way to make yourself look taller. So any short girls out there that are trying to create a more taller silhouette, a flared leg will give you just that. And you can put any platform or heel under it no one will see it. Then we have a straight leg that is a great fit to give a little more balance to your proportion. So anyone with a pear shape or an apple shape does a really good job of just bringing everything in and make it look unified in all the right places. Then we have the girlfriend and the boyfriend fits that are more on the kind of looser, cooler side. The girlfriend is the evolution of the boyfriend because the boyfriend really went far. Some girls were like walking with their pants halfway down. The girlfriend is a little more like chicer way, a more feminine way to wear oversized, which is awesome. And those I love to see on everybody. So why is the rise of your jeans so important? Because it can either really make your body looks amazing or if it's the wrong rise, it will really put a spotlight on the areas that you actually don't want to be in the spotlight. The rise is basically how far you you have from the crotch to your waistband. We have the high rise that thank God is going really strong, especially mom jeans, hello. The high rise also fits actually most body types and complements a lot of different body shapes just because it helps to 
scoop everything out and just focus on all you know the right places then we have the low rise that I really only recommend for taller women just because it does have an effect of shortening your legs so that's kind of something to think about if you have a short body type either petite curvy or petite small uh, medium to high waist is the best for you just because it will give the illusion of a much more elongated body it makes you look taller and complements your body where if it's a lower rise it will have the effect of shortening your legs which is what we want to avoid if you are a pear shape basically you have a smaller waist and chest and a little more junk in your trunk which is amazing I'm super jealous I'm trying to build my junk and it's not growing so what high waist jeans do to a pear shape is that it will really emphasize the small waist and give that beautiful curvy shape to your body if you are also a pear shape but don't have as much definition in the back totally cool there's actually jeans that have kind of a medium to lower rise in the front and then it's a higher rise in the back that way it's actually more comfortable so if you bend it doesn't slide down which is a really annoying thing so that will be your best bet then we have the apple shape what that means is you usually carry more weight in your midsection for apple body types the best fit although you might be like mm, what it's the high waisted fit but the one that basically reaches your natural waistline what it will do it will just kind of scoop everything up and will give a more proportion to your body especially if you have a bigger chest it will help with catching the part that you don't want to emphasize and just kind of clenching it if you have an hourglass body shape high waisted jeans is the best for you especially if you look for a rise that's a little bit higher than your natural waistband that would really create a beautiful curvy shape to your body and will complement the physique so much for the more athletic body shape I mean lots of different styles work for you if you do want to create an illusion of more curves and you know a little butt action I will recommend to actually go lower in the rise so either kind of low to mid rise that will really help to create the illusion that there's more going on on the back and the hips if you are shorter and you have the athletic body type that won't necessarily do any good because it won't elongate you it will just shorten you so keep that in mind let me know if you have any tips or tricks that you use when you shop for the perfect pair of jeans thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time